landscape here, you play the risk game. But I wouldn't play the risk game. Oh, well, James Cork is about it. Oh, no! He's in defence! The Bones in defence! They're all in defence! Oh, unbelievable! Top three in the fence! Vince Bowden with a goal! Oh, and the goes as well. Suddenly, Wincup has managed to keep going. Courtney's desperately trying to go with it. In this lap, that's stupid. Oh, 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 Set it 15 seconds ago. Now, let's have a look and understand what's happened here. So, it's down at the first chicane. This is the turn two replay. Oh. Scott straight ahead. Something wrong there. It did not look normal, did it? No. There you oh, go. there we'll we go. Off. Left front wheel has already parted company, so that is an awkward situation. Impossible to control for Will Davis, and so already a major drama unfolding long before this has happened, and now he's a passenger, nowhere to go, and uh, that is substantial. What went wrong? This Singer replay will give us an indication of the entire barrier and a wall there. Bang, that's big impact. That was uh, some sort of collapse in the front left hand. Car. Car yeah, Watch this again. Out. Watch the front left. Look at that, the car's already down on its haunches. Something's let go and uh, pitches oh. him into the wall heavily. Richards is up to fourth as well in car 11 and Kelly's been turned hard into the wall. That will be huge damage to the right-hand side of that car. Very likely to prompt the safety car. Ripped the wheel off the car as well. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't got any front brake. It's locked the rear, so we've that, seen this over the years. Oh, that's so it's gone hit. in hard. And here's the reason for the safety car. Trouble between Barguana and Tanda. Old yeah. teammates tangling heavily at high speed at the end of Mountain Straight. Barg's got onto the grass. The left rear got onto the grass. That's what turned him around. Those two guys won this race Is in it 2000. It's OK. Here he is grabbing fourth gear. Replay ride into the wall there with Davey. Two big impacts. But, um, he's had a moment quite early and it's just carried, you know. Um, everyone's pushing 10 tenths out there, if not 11 tenths, and uh, unfortunately. So what has happened here? Oh, dear. So we've got more contact nose to tail between Deep Pasquale and big contact with Caruso making it into the Dunlop tyre barrier. Fairly, uh, fairly down here it is again so. in replay. So, oh, so Anton committed to the pass. And then when my... Or just log on to the Seven Sport app and we've got big trouble here for That's Ash Walsh. That's a biggie. Big, big trouble. So he's made the fence. This is the car that the bonnet flew off yesterday. This down the back straight here, 260 kilometres an hour. He tries to lock it up, but Ash Walsh goes slamming into the fence. That's a big one. So here it is again. They're both really shallow. Makes the corner sharper, and Ash can't stop it and turn it. That's what it looked like in real time. Tander had a bit of a problem here that's cost him a place in the race today. Yeah, Garth Tander just picks up the curving on the inside at turn eight and launches the car wide. Absolutely smacks the wall. Huge damage on that car. And Welcome back to the 500 in Adelaide, where Craig Lowndes is hotly pursuing. Oh, this oh, is Brad Jones! Oh. That's a big rollover. Speed stick turn on the exit of Adelaide Strait, heading for Brabham Strait. Goodness me. Hasn't that corner claimed some cars today? 1,350 kilos. You can see it on the slides. Yep. It's sliding already. He's committed himself. I mean, he's way Oof. too quick for that. So uh, when he's when he's already going to have, uh, you know, a fair, uh, a fair slide, the tyres are obviously there, but the kerb is also the thing there that mm. does trip the car. So... It, uh, it's not very nice. Poor old Brad Jones. Hasn't this been a rough introduction to the V8 supercar ranks for him in terms of a, a full championship assault? And this is a 2 minutes 7.8. It was only one and a half tenths slower than his best time. Look at this up the inside. A massive, massive shot of turn two again. This is going to be the moment that... Is on. Right there. Oh, and a big crash for Will Brown. Whoa, 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 everybody. They've got the yellows out. Here we go. It's going to hit. There you go. That was going to be close, but here is what happened. So let's understand. It's oh, shocking impact with the inside wall for Will Brown. And then he's made heavy contact with the outside wall. And the big stretch up to the hand pit. Courtney's under siege there. Right, has got away. There's been a massive crash. Huge shot. Cars into the wall halfway down the old front straight. Zinger replay. Look further down. Ooh. Someone is heavily, heavily into the back 
of Jamie Wincup's car. Oh, big crash here, Danny Osborne in the Colour Scan Falcon. That's gone big time. That is right near our lead pack. They have been lucky to escape. Osborne just crunching the front of the Colour Scan Falcon. Osborne, look at this. Lowe switches the F. Well, yeah, it is contact. He's clipped the back of the Colour Scan Ford and look at it ricocheting off the concrete walls. Able to grab another one right now. Ambrose, they find everybody presses very hard very early to try and get a gain. Lowndes with a very big shunt at turn five. It was sideways as it came into frame. Very quick corner. Cut through the day. That's very high speed. And that car in its fourth contact with the wall here this week. Richard Musket, James had one, and now another two late this afternoon. <laughs> Serious impact that one and uh... down the pack in 18th, so he's come up nicely into that top ten. It's oh, 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 wow, that is, that's aqua. Oh, look at that, that's goodness me. You know, somebody, see how hard he looked like oh. somebody else. Tandor. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Way. Way. that's a big crash. In fact, I, I Whoa, guess that's almost uh, that. that's that's quite a rollover by looks, but he's uh, gone heavily to the bank. Bank, it is the car they call Elvis. It's had got more hits. Oh, look at the back end of that thing. It's had so many hits, that car. Oh, look at that. It's just got... Oh, oh, whoa, look at that. Goodness. That was a massive... It's very, very quick through there. Yeah, that's up toward the hay shed, up toward Lukey Heights. It's actually the place where John Bow came from. Poor old Mike Conway. That on the shell replay. Oh, he got... He got turned around. Absolutely clobbered. What was that car? Just trying to pick up it was a white uh, vs commodore i think it was he got nailed a horrendous sight the zinger replay will show contact contact into the wall and it flips the team serum maker upside down and rolling yeah fortunately the rollover now that i've but it was cameron mcconville that stole the show in the final round and it's uh, McConville. Oh, that, McConville. McConville's gone over. Yeah. One of the problems into turn oh, one God. down there is the road narrows up on the left-hand side. McConville's Whoa. been Look caught out. Jack Chicane. So seventh position. Oh, 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 oh. Cleans in the wall in the Bobolo car. As in the GM Corvette program in the US. Yeah, so Magnuson went across the chicane. And as Christian Clean oh. came back. Oh. <laughs> Can't respond. Waiting for the start. And Wincup's got it nailed initially. Lowndes is running as well. And again, that was Holdsworth. He was slow away yesterday. Oh, contact. Winterbottom into the fence. Heavy contact and heavy damage. Back straight through the uh, S bend there and uh, come down and something failed in the rear and uh, the rear brakes uh, went straight to the, the brake pedal, went straight to the floor. And uh, when you're going you know, back quick, it, you know. Had a spectacular off. Alberto off the racetrack, he turns Tim Oh, Spider that's away. a big crunch Lots at the top damage. of the hill. It's not done with yet. Gart yeah, is involved. Tim Slade's involved. Todd Kelly's involved. And that started with Alberto off. And then went through a restart process. So here's the replay. We can understand more of what's happened here. So uh, Douglas has just gone straight ahead. I heard him say that he had a puncture. There was contact with somebody, and he's gone straight ahead. So we'll see if the Ford Credit Falcon and the Castro Holden run together as they sweep out of the S's. Oh! Always using that curb. Here we have another shot of it. He's coming, hit the curb. The car's gone way up on two wheels. Oh, That's goodness. a big crash. A big crash. Well, comes back. It's a drag race. And Ingalls swerving in the background, looking for a way through. Right in behind them. Oh, two by two through there. Murphy oh, in the wall. No. Murphy and Scaife into the wall. That's oh, two days for Scaife and turn eight. Yeah, the dynamite start, green light, we're away. Seaton gets off sideways. It looked like Lowndes has got the start, and Deedy has. So the most oh, late let go. That's Faulkner's in that one. John Faulkner has been hit. There's been a big collision. Jason Barkwana oh, is in it as well. Wow, that's at the top of Lucky Heights. He's gone in. Wow. That is a massive shunt for Lowndes. Oh, he's 
mistake. Oh, the 15 6 This is Lowndes, sorry. It wasn't turn eight. This is turn five. He went to turn left, and he's gone straight in. That's very fast. The approach to that corner is... A... He's on his feet and talking to the team. Here's a replay. Or something, oh. Something's broken in the rear of that car. Well, there was no one else around him, no, was there? No, there was no one else there. From that shot, anyway. Now, that may be from that little yeah. incident that he had. Of that... The race has been red flagged. Take a look at this impact. Yeah, we just see the aftermath where John hits the wall very heavily on the outside. I heard the car go by our commentary point and uh, I saw all the spectators jump to their feet. It sounded... Jason Barguana found out how unforgiving the mountain can be in 97. OK, we're at the better electrical sand down 500. Second lap into the warm-ups, and Simon Wills has discovered what is and is. Here's the first part of the bump. Bang, bang, bang. It's Moffat, Coulthard, Mostert. Bang! That's off and in the fence. That is fast. That's Go like this across the top of the curb. It's the curb that put Fabian straight in. Goodness me, big Mark Winterbottom, then Louds, look further back in the pack here, and out the other side comes Lee. Oh. That's a very, very heavy impact. Fortunately to the passenger side, they're still attending to him down there at the moment. The Zinger replay, let's focus on the apex. Oh, he's well wide and hits it with oh. huge speed. That'll be a 200 kilometre an hour impact on the outside of eight, and that was happening before he the got there. The car wasn't turning. What? Unique thing for the driver, and the FPR, or the Pro Drive Race in Australia, battle that uh, Mark's talking about, I'm not exactly sure, but Whoa. this is a big failure there. That's I... a big hit, Jack. That's an enormous hit to Lee Holdsworth, who had no idea Nick Perkat was coming. Price, if we see Nick Perkat's car out for the rest of the weekend, that would have done a lot of damage to the left rear and also right up to the parcel shelf for that Commodore. They had such a tough year last year, Preston High Racing, Charlie Schwerkoff. Scott Pye's the driver. Let's, let's look and listen. As a driver, you do not want to have the thing come unglued at that part of the racetrack. This is awkward at 17. Michael's got the line. Jonathan Webb goes for him and gives Jason Bright a tag. This could be ugly. Oh, it is ugly. That is a big incident. Ryan Lahard into the back of Jason Bright and it's on fire. Home Richards was heading down Conrod straight on his last lap of practice, session number one. He ended up closing his eyes and hoping for the best. There were two, two big impacts. And then the next time I looked, I looked out the driver's window and all I could see was the road. So the car must have been on its... It's a bumper fence, isn't it? Here it is. Bang. This is where Greg Murphy went in. And actually, it's almost exactly the same as the Greg Murphy crash in the HRT car. Thinking that. Hey, mate. That Sorry, was... mate. The initials were MS, Sorry. NC. I'm just telling you... He will go straight into this wall at a huge speed. It's major damage. And in fact... That's a, a mega shunt. Listen to this. Wow. Here it is in replay. Oh no, there was two cars involved. Oh. It was Todd Kelly and Jamie Wincup. It was Todd that ran wide. Wow, oh, what goodness. a what a shame. That is a serious impact. That's going to be another big... Oh, oh dear, that's actually started very early in the... Steve the Johnson was involved in that. He actually gave... That's hit the left-hand wall as you exit. See that wall move there? Unbelievable. Keep an eye on the uh, oh. background here. Look at that. It moved the box massively. And unfortunately, we don't get to see wind cup there. Hydraulic problem. And this is going to be a shot now. You see straight ahead. Hasn't retarded at all. And bang in. That's as heavy front impact as we've seen for a long time. Oh. Nose first, flips right up. Really good view of this now. So he gets a bump. 
by Winterbottom. That was actually Winterbottom that bumped Reynolds. Wow. Who then bumped Pye. Pye had nowhere to go. Yep. Absolute of Dave Reynolds, who then escorted Ooh. Scott Pye wide. Both cars in. And we need to point out that uh, they are from the same... Operator at Simmons Plains, a six-time champion. Big trouble. Yellow flag out. There's a, that's a big accident. It's been a nasty accident on the exit of the hairpin at turn four. Can't actually pick that car at the moment. Wincup was applying huge pressure. Pitha is there with either Heimgartner, Ooh. Heimgartner or Perkat. It's gone across his nose. <sighs> and it's so close to hitting that guardrail on the left where the flag marshals were. It missed the guardrail where the flag marshals were and went up the hill. And Name says eight. Oh, gee, Michael just couldn't get it turned at all, so I suspect the tyre had actually gone flat at that point. Yeah, it was already well wide of the line. And remember, this is after contact with David Reynolds. The... So keep chatting, oh. and he's made big contact, big contact up at Reed Park on the exit of it. Still with me, mate. Tanda goes through. Yeah, mate, yep. Yeah. He's hurting. It's knocked the wind out of him for sure. Okay. See, so jump, jump sideways on the marbles, big contact with the wall. Safety. No overlap, there's a little bump. They're moving. Can he outbreak him down the left hand side? Oh, in the fence, that's massive! That's massive! There's going to be a big, big incident. The safety car out, contact coming. Why? Here, oh. Gus turned him. Absolutely. Garth has turned him, and he'll no doubt be penalised for that. And uh, that turn two and three, they're all bumping each other as they come up. This amazingly oh, off. He's in right the fence. Right He's in the fence. fence. Ah. That's a huge, That's huge, a huge incident. crash. So this is James Golding. That's a nasty one. This will trigger the Lexus RCF safety car. There was a, a problem, an evident problem in the front. Oh. That is a massive accident. Oh, that would be more me. than 200 kilometres an hour for sure. Glenn Seaton walking away from this. Around here. here he comes. Wow! couple of hundred metres at least down here. Look Whoa. at this, Glenn Seaton comes in hard on the left-hand side. Well, that first front was... Okay. okay, copy that, you're off. There you go. Yep, front left. Front left is gone, it looks like. And oh. he's deep, deep into the wall. Broken and thrown him straight off the, the road. And then... Oh, oh. Gee, that's a bad image. The man on the road at the moment is actually David Bernard, who's moved up to third, and then Dumbrell runs wide into the kitty litter. So David Bernard has had a pretty good weekend in terms of his recovery, Matthew. Oh, Oi. Dumbrell around. And there's more to that story because there's some damage there in the front right oh, corner. There you oh, go. Yeah, there's, there's the assurance. big story. There's a wheel gone loose, and that is Paul Morris's Sirame Wines VY converted car, and it's a real mess. From sixth spot. Back to about, I would suggest, about 10th or 11th spot. Oh, round goes uh, Jamie Wincup spins in the middle of the... Oh, oh, it's crushed no, in too hard. No, oh, no, no, Douglas no. on his side and Russell Ingle in the super cheap car there. It's a brunt of that when he was turned around but was able to select first gear and drive away. And David Walls, the car that made the impact to the direct behind of Taz Douglas, and that's got a lot of damage on the front of that Wilson yeah, security car. Disappear off. Problem on the way into yeah. it, and that could be the reason why he doesn't that, have any pace, but we'll wheel. find out... Oh, big problem! A car has rolled, and that is the Cleland Jones Falcon. It's gone over on its head. John Cleland at the wheel. And then John was actually... Uh, oh, no, he... No, he wasn't actually that far away. Oh, oh, that is amazing. You know, he's just dived out from behind him, Greg. He hasn't sighted. Nah. And he hasn't obviously... And let's see if this will help us. The Zinger replay. Watch to the right of your screen. It was Rick. And his brother did a very good job to avoid him. And uh, I think Murphy's, someone rejoined late there, didn't they? The car's scattering every which way. Now look down the order, it'll see what happens to Greg. It, oh, it's, uh, he's already gone around here, we don't know why. There's, it was a collective sigh from the grandstand. On the extreme left was Jason Richards, who squeezed Paul Dumbrella. That's what triggered some of the chaos and split the pack. And that was the reason why Greg makes that violent impact there on the right-hand side. Took the front off the car. That It's the gong no one wants to receive, but the super hit of 2003 undoubtedly belonged to Jason Richards. 
the Kiwi going for a wild ride at home. So Murph arrives in a hurry. Oh, wow. This has been coming for a long time, this sort of incident, unfortunately. It's this huge speed differential as everyone tries to find their space. You know, somebody's at full tilt, in this case, Greg Murphy, while someone else oh. is just dawdling along. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just very, very bad. And the bike up right now is the time to make places if you can. Bright's been elbowed, and round goes Slade. It's taken Bright with him, and into the wall goes David Wall. Oh, this is big. Oh. That's Dean Fiore yeah, up on the side. Playing. It's yeah. one of the Altimers there. That's Russell Engel. So, Tanda shot down the inside, and then there was basically three into two. Didn't go with Slade, Bright. And was it Tanda? Or was it 22? No. Oh, there's a car upside down here. There's a car rolled on the way into pit entry. Can't figure out who it is. It's a it's BOC, BOC car. car. It could be. Tell more of the story now. Brad's already. Now he was in a battle with one of the Valvoline cars at. Uh, don't know which one it was, could have been Cam McConville, might have been his nephew Andrew Jones. He ends up in the dirt, out wide, and up against that tyre barrier. They've actually all tightened up again as everybody's sort of found balance with their cars, played with oh, the there's one in the fence! There's one in the fence hard at the end of turn eight! And that's Douglas Pondy. is gone. There must be oil down there. There's stuff down there because they're spearing off everywhere. Taz Douglas has gone into the wall on the other side. Courtney was the first in arrives that's what you heard then oh that's man big contact with Courtney and uh, Bright was talking about there being oil down there so whether that was there oh. before or after the fact but certainly Bright has ended up in the mess that needs to get by that WPS Falcon and Richards is giving Skate the big hurry up yeah, there's no doubt that for whatever reason in the early phase of these restarts the HRT car is not quite comfortable in Someone's its... Oh, gone. Ambrose has had a massive shunt. Ambrose has had a massive shunt. So Greg Murphy's involved. More cars. The track is jammed. The track is jammed. Can you believe that? That was huge. This weekend, he's going to be the first car that would they keep out of that stable when Mark, Marcus left at the end of the year to go to the United States. Paul and James Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe got a pretty good start, but now he's stopped dead. He's stopped dead and he's been run into straight up the back from Lucas Degrassi. More, there's more cards. Oh my goodness! That's Ricky Taylor in the second Fujitsu car with Tony Oliuzzi to make the contact. He gets blocked a little bit, so he decides to spear down the right. And then of course that's where Hinchcliffe is sitting. And from then on, it's a concertina effect. Oh. He couldn't have seen him either, Matt. Lewitzi wouldn't have seen Hinchcliffe car when he was so close to the that made and huge damage. This is young Chas Moster. We've seen an unbelievable run from him this year. And have a look at that damage, Crompo. That was a very fast accident. Yeah, and it's his debut in the main game here this year. What a terrible way to get started for him. And it's the same spot Kevin Barton came unstuck in the come up to six, and here's the reason why. Driving Garth Tander's number two Holden Racing Team Commodore, unable to stop. Smashes into the back of Craig Lowndes. The way to eight. Kelly gets past Cameron McConville. Now there's a strong car. Here. Will they get through there two abreast? Well, yeah, no, they won't. There's chaos. There's chaos. Well, this is and a I bad didn't one. think you could possibly get two cars through there. This stuff's insane. There. Just enough of a touch. Look at that. Yeah. Push the tail out. Cam trying to gather the car up, but and by that stage, a victor. So Jones and Stephen Johnson, nowhere to go. And Winterbottom is staying out of the mix as well. He knows he's not in the hunt up front, so he stays wide, gives them room. Ingle comes charging through. He's got Skate on his hammer, and one of the future two cars is turned around, and Courtney is in his second major act. So. This is the aftermath when everyone was trying to thread their way through. Is it 26? Is it Fernandez? Yes, it is. Yeah. And three was Jason Rich. Go, the lights are green. We are away. Murphy got away to a terrific start. He got away much better than seen. This mayhem on the start. One car stalled out. They were just scurrying, trying to get around that car. I didn't pick up who it was. Oh! There's been a big, big, big accident. accident. Collision back there.
between Mark Larkham. You could see Lark Larkham collide with someone and kapow. Romano was in there whether he made initial contact or not. It was very hard to work out. Charlie, how did you see? Yeah, Stefan, I'd say um, Romano may have tapped. Larkham Swetnam on the left-hand side, the new team manager. Oh. And very high speed approach, 260 kilometres an hour into turn two. Now watch this. This will ignite any time well, soon. There's a lot of fuel on the road there. Red the whole hot. rear of the car has been ripped apart. And once it starts, it turns into a fireball very quickly. And very dangerous, feeding straight back to the car, enveloping. We're on board the VIP entry. Steve Owens at the helm. So it looks like David did it on his own just backed in very hard so the approach speed into turn two is too high Colby I made the point earlier he stood up oh he's noticed my goodness big roll team BOC car car number 12 Andrew Jones at the wheel a massive roll a safety car for sure let's hope he's okay radio oh dear and uh, wind cups in the lane, so I reckon they'll put slicks on that car now. Remember, he's carnage on top of that. Let's talk about it again. That's the Heath Douglas Mustang, uh, Falcon, the old Alan Moffat car. Now he's hit the bank. I don't know whether he was nudged and set on this massive chain reaction. Oh. Look at that. The Parsons Wills car going in hard. Alan now Jones. Jones just turned it to try and yeah. avoid. I mean, there's as much as we can Now look, there was contact there. Was that the, the Ericsson Ericsson Trust Trust Bank car? car? Looked like there was a bit of a collision there. Oh, car. The Aloe Vera is he in it? VS oh, Commodore. Let's hope, no, let's hope he's out of it. Trying to see at the I'm bottom of the screen. Look, I don't see any movement there. I don't think he is out of it, you know, by the way they're running. It was unbelievable, Neil. Oh, he lost control. He said over the radio. That is a shocking oh, incident. He said he lost control before the braking area. That's 265 kilometres an hour. Check that out. I've never seen a car go off the road as fast as that. And Thomas Mazira. explains what happens to Scotty Pye. So he's had a mid-corner correction at the metal frame. It doesn't take much. Remember I talked about the fine tolerances up there. Well, he's out of space. And Scott Pye makes very heavy contact. Let's listen. Very solid impact with the wall. In the hands of Shane Van Gisbergen in the acceleration zone. Look at them all spread out. They go in search of their own piece of real estate. They bump and grind and push and shove. And now they've got to come all back together again. Oh! Turn one. Jason Bright over and over and up and into the wall. Oh. Cross. And it doesn't take much for Garth Tander just to lean on the front left-hand side of Jason Bright. It's that secondary impact that's the worry. Uh, a fast approach to that braking zone, and it has whistled off at a huge rate of knots down here. It's hard Luckily, to it's gone to that tyre barrier, because not far left of that, clearly there's a concrete wall, so that is a frightening scene. And we very rarely see what looks like a complete brake failure in that zone. And as Greg Murphy reported before, you can see there over the top of Van Gisbergen's car, you can see that car just disappearing off there in the tyre wall. So great job by that tyre barrier. HSV dealer team. You can see it here on the replay. This is incredibly massive impact. At top speed. He clips the wall there. The car surfs across the sand and straight into a concrete barrier. An interesting story because there was plenty of action. Over 200 kilometres per hour, Anthony Tratt, bang! A massive accident, one of the biggest ones we've seen in a while. And I'm pleased to say that Anthony is OK. He's here at the track again today, but that's the reason why we've got the ripple strip. Is there a challenge on up front? I think there might be a challenge oh. on up front. Oh, we've got a car on its side. 
Safety car for sure. Kiwi entry of Paul Radisic. Here's the replay. Watch oh, here. Oh, he's run out of the road. Look at this, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness me. That is a shocker. That is big, big impact. He's gone around the outside of the super cheap Commodore and cannot pull this car up. No, it's on the edge of the sand trap there, Lee, so uh, he can't get his... He just can't get the pace off the car. That's what happens when you're the pioneer. When you're doing it, he's in! That's a massive crash there for Tanda. He's smart. That's Rick Kelly involved. Tim Blanchard, Moffat, they're all involved. Have a look at this. This will be red flag. That is a red massive flag, crash. Red flag, red flag. All cars are to stop on the grid in order, please, in their current order. Successfully proving very effective at Phillip Island this afternoon, too. Whoa! Oh, oh look where he's heading. Good to speed. There's going to be a big accident. Murphy. Straight on. Wow. Charlie, how well, you... I think something had to break in the car there. Murphy can walk out of that. He's had a major impact. Look at that. He really has had the wind knocked out of him. Yes, he'd be reeling after that, not only because he's out of the race, he's out of the point. Head, so, Charlie, there's got to be some steering yes, problems. Yes, definitely. Either something mechanical or a tyre is deflated. Now, watch this. Full impact, unabated speed, car pow! Almost like a bomb going off. Look at the dirt get lifted up. He rolls it over, and fortunately, the car ends back on its wheels. Mark, there's plenty of runoff room there. There's a, a long way between the track. Whoa. Oh, that's big. That was pie. That'll, that'll make contact with another car down there. You want... And it yeah. did. It's made contact with quite a few. Huge damage. It's awful to see such impact. James is out. He will be get by. Now, here comes James Courtney as the car lifts. The Fujitsu car lifts. Oh! Ouch. All four wheels of James Courtney's car off the time. Oh! He is... picked Courtney's car up, actually lifted the right... Down at uh, BJR, chatting to my old boss, actually, Bradley Jones. Ugly! Oh! Oh, and Davison. Oh, my no. goodness. It's a big crash. Man, that's... Car oh. oh, that's insane. Oh. Oh. That's fuel at the back of Will's car. That is such a fast section of road. So sorry, it didn't... Water on the windscreen of the Pertec Ford. Raindrops starting to get heavy now. Oh. Look at that, a big, big moment for Ellery. Almost spills it wide with oversteer. Gets into the dirt. Oh, and so too, wind cup. They're all getting trapped by the lack of grip. Oh, Trouble! Dumbrell. Big shunt, big shunt. Dumbrell and Baird. This Craig is going to be Baird. bad. This is huge. Lost the back off the Craig Baird car. This will be a safety car. If the red flag, red flag. The race will be... And that's the that's yes. Rick Kelly. This is dangerous. This is... This is... This is the blind spot. That's the blind spot. That's the blind spot. That's the blind spot. Mate, you right? Fine. Just you. Double safety car scramble. Clean in the back of that car when it was parked. He was so fortunate to be able to move the car to the inside and just miss running straight in the back of Rick Kelly. You can see here, I think it's Caruso. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't get any easier second time around, does it? That is just cat-like reactions from, from Stevie J because he was... The run out of there, you run up against the... the and we are ready for a race start. You've got Jason Bright alongside Marcus Ambrose. The power's down. Bright seems to have got the jump as round two gets underway. Paul Radisic shot across there as well. This will be interesting. Into turn one, and they've already gone off. Oh, that's an incredible smash to start this race. The Valvoline Cummins Commodore, and they're all over the shot. Six or seven cars have gone completely off. That is an amazing start. Johnson, this is another angle of this opening crash. I mean, you're only going 100 metres from the start-finish line there, and all of a sudden, Jason Barguana is on his head. It's completely ripped the rear axle assembly out of that car. You can see it sitting on the road behind the...
Welcome back. Well, there has been a major incident on top of the mountain already today. That's Paul Wheel in car 50, lost control and is stationary. But what happens next is just shocking. Cut 021, the Team Kiwi car, Chris Pither behind the wheel, arrived on the scene there, could not get out of the way in time. That is an awful sight. It's a huge impact. Both cars, of course, completely wrecked. Yes, Tanner, Tanner. Like a bullet out of the gate. He has flown off the mark. We've got a there below. Oh, look at that. Oh, That's no. Paul Morris and Mark oh, Larkin. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. I, just, I hope he gets out of that yeah, in a hurry. Yes, he's, he's out of it. Goodness me. Well, they'll have to stop this. Stop Did you out. see the speed of that? No, look at it. It's going over to I, Paul, I, I, Paul Morris' car. Out of the car okay here. Whoa, that's oh, going to go Oh, no. Bang. There's fuel everywhere. Larkin's out of the car. I hope... Where to go, did he? Artists in the back of the cars. There's fuel pumps in there, there's oh. power and batteries oh. and things in there. And I, and I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as ferocious on a start line in terms of what's described as the T division. Oh. That is what it looked like. Can you believe that? This is now. Ryan Lanau. Car Wuppy, the, all these guys are friends. Crompton in there, they're all concerned for their uh, fellow competitors' safety and welfare. They are all rushing in there to his aid. And that is exactly the same position we yep. saw the Formula Ford yeah, crash yesterday. Uh, now, let's try it. Now, you see, the touch there was from Stephen Richards. You know, I thought it was Garth Tanner, Stephen Richards. And the touch makes uh, Craig's car pick up the left hand rear. And um, then you'll see. Cup incident we saw earlier in the weekend. There was a Jay, massive Jay. roll involving Cameron McLean. It looks to be in a similar position. Watch this. This is the exit of turn three. Trouble here between Bo Morris and Jason Richards. Whoa! Oh. Exactly the same problem. Straight up and over that ripple strip, which has been questioned by me. Straight over the top of that ripple strip. The very one that got Cameron McLean yesterday. And that ripple strip is there for when they use one of the short circuit options and the cars run in a different walked away and this is the one that happened just moments ago and jason richards just monumental damage to the front and back of the back and look at an interesting battle here with david russell car number 78 on the outside of him is todd hazelwood oh, trouble. big trouble at the end of the back straight and that's a terrible oh! incident a terrible incident for hazelwood into the fence backwards and rolled. Catch Fence has done its job. Testament to the strength in the cars. This is the Dunlop Super 2 series. And this is where the multi-point harness, the seats, the hands device that secures the helmet so that he doesn't end up with uh, a disproportionate amount of movement uh, with that kind of... That was Barguana. That was Barguana. Had a huge moment. It's rolled. Oh, it's a Bundy car. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh, my it's... goodness. One of the Bundaberg Red races has gone over. That, uh, that was a monster moment. Look at this. It's, I think he's ended up on the grass out there as he's turned it in. And off it's gone. Just illustrates the pace. It's just an explosion. And... Uh, Nothing left of it as Fabian gets out. Remember, it's got a left rear has gone, looking back up towards the chase. I mean, you're carrying maximum load through there. Of all the places on the circuit where you want to lose something, that's not it. Yeah, and look at the top. I mean, if you focus oh. on the on that 
uh, left rear tyre, as it's doing all the pirouettes, it's, it's a mess at that point. So clearly it's a nice crack in the back of the head and uh, I can imagine what he was thinking or said at that point. Oh, big, big moment, a massive moment for one of the Pepsi Max cars. Into the wall and out of business for Chaz Mostert, the reigning champion, has had a monumental crash. This will be a red flag. High speed S's. Oh, he's clouded the wall, which has ricocheted him into the outside wall, and then the catastrophe really begins. It's just a pinball at that point, and it's ridden right across the top of that wall.